Hello all you skaters out there on YouTube, welcome to my latest video. Today I am gonna take you on a ride for seven super cool exercises that are gonna make it a whole lot more fun to inline skate and to become faster and better on your skates. I'm defying the cold Danish weather here in Slagelse, it's about one degree Celsius, so I really hope you appreciate this because <laughs> I'm freezing my ass off. However, I'm gonna explain all these exercises and why they're great and what you should think of when you're doing them. They can be great, you can do them all alone. You can also do them in a group workout. Um, they're basically just different ways to improve your mobility, your agility, and your technique control over the skates. But common for all of them is that they're super fun. This is where I grew up skating, and that's why I took you here. And also because it's one of the few tracks where you're not slipping too much when it's wet, uh, which is great because Denmark is a wet country. So I hope you enjoyed this. I'll use my fancy GoPro Max uh, for a 360 view. But before we get started, I'll make sure to warm up because uh, I feel a little rusty. Haven't been much on inline skates since I do ice skating as a profession. So um, I'll do a good warm up first and then let's get to it. Thanks a lot for watching, by the way. And uh, if you feel like you need a little more structure in your training or just a coach to, to help you figure out the best way for you to improve, and just some inspiration you can always hit me up because i do online coaching so um if you could need me for that i'd love to help you out there's a link below um to my email address where you can contact me and uh, and then we can get you started The first exercise is called the mini man. It's fairly simple. You just go into a really tucked position. I'll just show. Uh, it takes a little bit of balance. It goes like this, as you can see. Obviously, you would have to try it with both legs. But at first, it feels a little sketchy because the center of gravity is, is kind of uncomfortably positioned. But just try and, try and work that out. And also it's a really good test of your bearings. It's fun to do. You can either accelerate into it or go down a hill. Both works. The second one is just doing circles like this in order to accelerate. So you have to put a little more pressure when moving forward. And then we're also getting a lot of edge control out of this one. This one is good for the beginners because you can go at any speed. And the fact that you're like having your legs wide makes it comfortable in terms of not getting on any outer edge or in any position where you can't really control if something were to, to, or to throw you out of control. Next one takes a ton of mobility. It goes like this. So it's like a straightaway where you're actually opening up the hips like that. It's pretty difficult because that one takes a ton of mobility. Um, so you'd want to stretch a bit to warm up for that one and uh, yeah it's difficult you can fall backwards when you're trying so that one I would leave to to people that are a little more experienced in skating if or when these become too easy you can try play around with some single wheel skating such as this one of them is trying to skate only the first wheel and if that becomes too easy next thing you would want to do trying to skate only on the back wheels. This one is a bit more complicated, especially if you move them apart. But both definitely doable. You can go at any speed. You can even hold on to something at first if you feel a bit too unstable. But these are a super way to just get more of a feel of where you got the skates and um, yeah, and just play around with the body weight, move a little to the front, move a bit to the back. Another really fun way to improve your agility on the skates that's definitely also challenging is 
to go for a sumo skate. So sumo skating is unlike the 90 degree knee bend that we usually recommend. Sumo skating, you go as deep as you can and then try and skate from that position. Make sure you're not popping up in between every step, but go here. One more thing that this is really great for is that you also improve your dorsiflexion so you can get your knees a bit out in the front, which is gonna give you a more comfortable and efficient skating position. So try and go for this one. And trust me, the faster you go, the easier it actually gets. My final exercise for this video is also my personal favorite, called the glue wheels. So it's also the most simple exercise. There's only one rule. Just gonna get or keep all wheels in the ground at all times. So it's pretty simple going on a straightaway once you go across it. It can be a challenge. Anyways, play around with it. Uh, I find these to be super useful myself. And even though I do skating as a profession and I feel like I know the basics quite well, I implement these once in a while in my own workouts because they're super fun. There's no reason not to. I mean, at the end, the reason we all skate is just because of the fun of it. Hey, thanks a lot for watching this. Remember to do these exercises regularly. No matter how good you are at skating, agility will always be important and you can always improve. Personally, I do all these basic exercises at least once a week. And I mean, as long as you stay focused and, and have a few key points and things to improve, they never get boring. Thank you so much for watching this. Um, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and if you'd like, you can go check out some of my other videos. There is more than 100 different skating videos on my channel, so uh, there's, there's plenty to go through. And most of all, have fun on your skates.